my channel. My name is Amber and this is Fabricating Fringe. Today I'm sharing with you guys this beautiful long brunette. This is from Noriko by Renee of Paris. This is from Continental Wigs in the UK. This style has been out for a little while. I have not tried it before and I think it's really, really pretty. What do you guys think? I love the style. I love the cut. I love the layers. Um, this is called Robin. And this gorgeous brunette is Chocolate Swirl. This is a full cap, basic cap wig. So you don't have your lace front, monofilament, no part, nothing like that. But I think it looks great. It looks like there is some permatease, um, some back combing to give you this fullness up top. Um, if you have an issue with not having that, you know, multi-directional parting um, space or lace front, you can always use accessories, headbands, clips, and things like that to help create a more realistic look. You can also pull out some of your biological hair and that can help create a, a more realistic look because you'll see the perimeter of your own bio hair. Those are some things I've done to create a more realistic look on my basic cap wigs. Um, especially if the color of my biological hair will match fairly well. If it is a little bit lighter, which you can see it, it slightly is here, you can add some hair fibers or root touch up and that will blend it right in. Of course, a headband and other accessories are fantastic. Whether you have, you know, a silk top, a lace top, um, a monofilament, a part, or even a basic cap. I think when you utilize accessories, it just makes the whole thing that much more real. Because when you have your own biological hair, a lot of people will wear accessories. But when they're wearing alternative hair, I think it's a fear that people have to use hats and other things to adorn the faux hair. So don't be afraid. Use those accessories like so, and you can really spice it up and make it look more realistic. Now, even without the accessories, I think Robin is a gorgeous wig. I love the color as well, chocolate swirl. So let's talk about the color and then we'll move on to the specs of the wig. Chocolate swirl has a dark brown base, evenly blended with light auburn and honey blonde. So you have that beautiful chocolatey dark brown and then it's evenly blended with that auburn and that honey blonde. I love the auburn. I think it's very warm. Um, the Honey Blonde is as well, but I think that having these little highlights all throughout, it definitely gives the color contrast and dimension. I think it's gorgeous. I also think this color is phenomenal on this style. Um, I just, I don't know, I love the dark. Um, I love the little blondes. The highlights and the color contrast, it just looks so, so beautiful. Uh, they did a wonderful job with this color. Robin by Noriko is a very long, sleek, and stunning wig. I don't know if you guys can see the length of this hair. Let me stand back. But she's long. Oh, I think she's so pretty. So, so pretty. You have these graduated interior layers. You can definitely see how it kind of is a little bit shorter up front and then tapers on down. And then throughout the wig you have some beautiful layering. Because of the layers, it has a lot of movement. It looks nice and fresh. It's just gorgeous. Robin features a really cute wispy bang. So you'll see on this wig that this front area has some short little wispy hairs up front to create that kind of side swept wispy bang. And of course she does have a lot of length. This is ready to wear synthetic fiber. It is not heat friendly. So you want to be mindful of that. Um, this hair looks and feels like natural hair. It's really soft. It's not too shiny. It doesn't look like your, you know, fake Halloween wig. Um, it, it just, it looks great in my opinion. The product weight of Robin is 4.5 ounces. I feel like she feels great. Um, I feel like the density of Robin is perfect. It doesn't look so thick that it looks like a horse's tail and fake. Um, but you do have some density in there. So, I just think the layers and everything create a, a natural look. Now they say that this wig runs petite average. I wear average in most wig brands and this style fits me just fine. So for your average size head, 
this petite average wig fits me really well. This is from Noriko's Naturally Alternative Hair Collection. And like I said, this is a basic cap wig. Let's do a full turnaround and then I will take this wig off and show you guys the inside of the cap. even see that the front of Robin is 4.5 inches but the nape is 17 inches long so I mean she's she's a long one okay let's take her off and show you guys the inside all right so my wig grip is falling off but oh well <laughs> all right so here is the underside of Robin she is a basic cap so under this crown area you will notice if you dig deep there is permatees um, around this part where they kind of have it parted, there is also permatease. You can see that right here. To me, I think it kind of just looks like it's been backcombed. Permatease, it doesn't scare me because with thin, fine hair, I grew up living with backcombing. Ratting, essentially, is what it's called. Backcombing, creating high volume hairstyles for all different hairstyles, whether it be short or long. Um, it was just something that I kind of did because I had to camouflage my my hair and I and I liked the volume and the oomph. So that kind of is what it reminds me of when I see permatees like this. To me, it just looks like you know a highly um, backcombed, volumized crown area. So just to give you a look at that, there is the permatees right in that part area. And if you pull the hair up and look close to that parting, you're going to see some more permatees. The remaining area of that cap though is open wefted. So that's nice and breathable, very airy, great ventilation. And then you have an ear tab that has that same lace material that you have up in this crown area. And down here you have a slight little small velvet lined nape and your adjustable strap. So you can loosen and tighten this wig and make it fit your head a little bit more true to size. So let's put her back on. I think the style itself is very flattering. I think she's pretty. I really like the length. I love this color, like I said a million times. Um, I, just, I just think all in all, it's a very, very beautiful wig. I think I would love it even more if it did have you know, a monofilament part, a lace front, or even a mono top. But all in all, I really, really do think this is a gorgeous style. Um, I think because I'm so used to having parting area, I would probably don it with a headband or something. Um, it would look gorgeous with a hat on top. Either way, I think it looks great. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know. Comment below. You guys definitely go and sign up for the newsletter um, from Continental Wigs because you will get notified of any of their deals, their promos, their sales, so you can, um, you know, hop on those deals that they have. They have super fast shipping. They do ship all over, even though they are located in the UK, and they're fantastic. They're just, a, you know, homegrown, um, down-to-earth, family-owned business, and they're absolutely amazing. So definitely contact Continental Wigs, if you have any other questions, you can comment below as well. Head over to Instagram and follow me and Continental Wigs over there and on Facebook. And let me know what you think, you guys. What do you think about this color, this length, this style? What's your thought on permatease? Let me know. You know what to do. Comment below or reach out to me over there on Instagram. I'm there all the time, more so than YouTube. But anyway, let me know your thoughts. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe. And until next time, you guys, I'll see you later. Bye.